Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is super exciting because I'm finally going to be giving you guys the much, much requested house tour. So actually the last time I did a house tour of this house was like when kind of we first moved in. So there has been a ton of changes from that house tour and stuff and everything is actually completed now in my house. I'm so excited. All the kids' bedrooms are done, the backyard is done now, and everything is perfect and exactly how I want it to be, and I'm so excited to show you guys it. So before I get into the actual tour of the house, I know there's going to be many questions if there's going to be a speed build and stuff like that. So unfortunately, there is not going to be a speed build of the house, but if you would like to check out how to build the kids' bedrooms in today's video, they are going to be on Bullblox's channel, so make sure to go check her out. And as far as the house goes, the house is right now worth $1.3 million. So honestly, it's only about to go up from there. So it's definitely a ton of money, probably the most money I've ever spent on a roleplay house, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm super excited to show you guys and how it turned out. Anyways, let's get to the tour. So of course, we're starting out with the exterior. Oh my god. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. My brother was raging on Fall Guys. Anyways, so we're starting out here with the exterior, obviously. So we have the gate. Then when you come in, I just have this kind of like filler area, I call it. I don't really know. Um, we have the kiddos' bikes and scooters. Then we also have like divider fences between like this is the garage part. And I kind of wanted to have like a fence over here just because like I do have a baby and like I don't know, I just feel like it'd be better to have like a gate here. So this is more like the play area side of the front yard. But on the garage side of the front yard, so we have the garage doors that are separated from the main garage. There is actually nothing in here at the moment and it's super basic. But yeah, and I honestly need to add wall trim in there still. But you know, we never use that. Over here is like I said, the play area side of the front yard. More just like filler grass, some decorations. And this gate over here leads to the front porch. This is the gate that comes up here. Over here it has the swing set, which I actually love this area because there's just so much fun things to do over here. We have the picnic area and like a little bench and just some like chill areas. And I think it's totally adorable. Then right here is the swing set. Underneath the swing set, I do have a sandbox. Um, here is my lawnmower. We have a big riding one, like fancy. Then right here we have a gazebo. I think it's super cute. Over here we have kind of the dog area because it has the dog house, but we also have a bench and a wagon. Now behind the gazebo is actually an area for like our ducks because if you guys remember, we did a role play where we adopted two pet ducklings. So this duckling right here is actually Kate's and its name is Waffles. And over here is Gibby's duckling and his name is Lennon. And they have like their feeders. Then I love this new update with like the bird feeders and just so many fun things came with this new update. Okay, anyways, besides the update, the front porch is right here. We have um, nothing too special. We have a little seating like eating area out here and just another planter. On the other side of the front porch, we have another seating area with the new furniture they have, which I love it so much. Like, this is just so cute. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the exterior of my front house. So now we're going to head inside. So when you come in these double doors, it leads to the foyer or the foyer, <laughs> is what we like to call it, because there's nothing really too special. It's just kind of the entrance of the house. So then over here is the mud room. So the mudroom kind of consists of the kids stuff. So obviously this is our main garage. It has the sports car and the mom van. But back to the mudroom, over here we have like cubbies for the kids. This side is Kate's with the roller skates and this side is Gibby's and then they each have their own two bins. 
So as well as in the mudroom, we have a little coat closet for like winter clothes and things like that. And then just some more storage over here. But when we go back into the foyer area, we come over to the hallway. So nothing really interesting in the hallway. Oops, I did not mean to do that. But nothing super interesting here, just some basic stuff. So the door next to the piano actually is the basement. Okay, I will say this is the only area that isn't done. I just wanted to add a basement, but I don't really have anything to put in a basement. Like when those new storage bins came out, I knew I had to add a basement. But this door leads into the playroom, but there's also other stuff connected. But this is mostly just a playroom for Eloise. And actually this playroom was done by Mixie. She did a fantastic job at like remodeling this part of my house. So this room is the laundry room, obviously. These two things, I know they're like the drink things, but we use them as like soap. What's that called? I don't know, soap for washing clothes. I forget the actual name. Then we have the big farmhouse sink. What did I just turn off? Anyways, <laughs> then we have an ironing board and who knew actually the ironing board worked? Like what? This room over here is the kids' school room. This door right here is our downstairs half bathroom. But that's pretty much it. So actually these doors lead to the backyard and I give the full backyard credits to Jiggy Builds on YouTube. So credits to him for doing my backyard. So when you come out here, over here, we have a nice seating area. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take some stuff down for 4th of July. Anyways, okay, much better. We changed some of the decals up, but like I said, just a seating area out here. Over here is our outdoor kitchen, and probably my favorite thing is like the sunroof. Like, look how pretty this is, like when cooking out here and hanging out. But then obviously over here is our ginormous pool. I love it, and I love all the new floaties they added, especially the duck one, like please. Over here is kind of our chill seating area. Obviously right here is our fire pit. I don't know why our fire is always on, like that's dangerous. But over here's the fire pit. Then over here is our eating area. Behind these gates is the kids play area. Another separation just from the pool. We have a sandbox and then the kids swing set. Then back near like the porch area, we have my flower garden. So this is where flowers grow at. And I love this area so much. So now we go through these double doors, which lead us to the living room. I actually love the living room so much. I think it's so pretty, but this is what it looks like. I'll come out of here. So this is like the hall we went through earlier, and these are the doors that lead here. So when we come in, this kind of just like the stairs. Um, over here, we kind of have a little thing for Eloise that Bullbox made. Then obviously just the main living room part. This is our main living room couch, and I added some custom pillows. And yeah, nothing too much. Okay, anyways, so here I actually put new doors in because I felt like the other one's opening up. I kind of wanted to open up like how these ones do and they only have modern ones of these. So this will have to do. But this was the mudroom and it leads into the kitchen. So everything's a basic open concept, but it's still kind of separated off if that makes sense with our house. But when you walk in from the mudroom to the kitchen, right here is the dog's area. So where we put their leashes and also their food and water bowls. Then over here is just kind of a little storage area. Then we have uh, some more decoration. Then we also have a high chair for Eloise. Now we come into the main kitchen area, which I love this area so much. So obviously we have the ginormous like curved island, which just look how pretty this is. So definitely enough seats for everyone. We kind of have like the main table area. Oh wait, no, no, that's supposed to go there. Sorry, just have like brain freeze but then we also have the computer or laptop then over here obviously we have the island but we also have like this other miniature island i guess in here obviously we can't use it to cook but just like to place stuff over here is our giant stove and oven area i love this area so much now probably my favorite part is like this area like please like i, I can open this and like look out in the backyard it is literally just so pretty like i just love the aesthetic of this area so much and yeah also mixed in my kitchen as well so credits to her but i did add a few things like this area so basically a big kitchen sink my coffee maker here's the fridge and another high chair for eloise so over here is kind of like eloise area because this supposed to be like a bottle warmer where you can like put bottles all over here but yeah it's not done right now but you get the point so over here is our dining room i did like upgrade this a little bit because my dining room was so small last time like it literally didn't fit anything 
So nothing much over here, but over here is our dining room. And then on this wall, we're going to get a big like family picture of us, like a big family GFX. So hopefully that will be done soon so I can start putting it around our house. This door leads to our pantry. There's nothing much in here, but I definitely love the aesthetic of this that Mixie did. So this door leads to like our vegetable garden. So the other one was more like a flower garden. I mean, like there's still flowers out here because there's not like a ton of food that you can grow in Bloxburg, but you get the point. So we have the carrots growing over here. Like I said, we did have to add some flowers. We have some watermelon down here. Oh, I should put an apple tree as well. Some bird food. Okay, yeah, and these are supposed to be like strawberries or whatever fruit that looks like that that we would be growing. But I really love this area. I recently added it and I think it's so adorable. It definitely fits this area. But that is pretty much everything for the first floor of our house, which I am definitely obsessed. The only thing like I'm not obsessed with is like the lighting. Like I need to fix this lighting. Like why is it so bright right here? And then so dark over here. Like I need tips. Okay, but anyways, we're going to be heading upstairs. So the upstairs recently got renovated. So I'm super excited to show you guys it. So right here is just the hallway kind of connects to all the kids bedrooms very adorable So the first bedroom and all the kiddos bedrooms you see in today's video are done by blue Box, So it credits to her again There's going to be speed builds up on her channel of them. But anyways, the first room right here is Eloise's room So I kind of told blue Box to do with this room it was kind of just like a floral pink like nursery And that's definitely what she did. She popped off with this bedroom um, We have like a little teepee like tent castle that's not a castle thingy but you understand like she can sit in here very cute even i can sit in here over here is her dresser which is actually a custom dresser and right here this is supposed to be a baby monitor up here i don't really know exactly what animal but i'm guessing like a flamingo peacock type animal but it's really cute i gave her an inspo pick and she definitely i just really love that part probably my favorite part of the bedroom um more toys um we have like a little reading area with a rocking chair then obviously her ginormous crib with her little lullaby thing I don't actually know what the real name of these are called. I'll have to figure that out. Um, another one of these, like the actual version, this one is just hard to sit in because it always makes you plant something, which I don't want to plant anything, but you know. Then right here is Eloise's closet and like changing area. So this is obviously her changing area with just some stuff I would need for that. Then over here is her closet. Okay, like look how cute. So she has all these dresses. She has some luggage and some bags, um, hair ties, hair bows. Then, oh my god, look at the little shoes, like, adorable. What did she even use to make those? Like, what? It's just so much attention to detail, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So, over here, the double doors lead to the master bedroom. So, anyways, so the master bedroom, I guess, is still a mess, even though I thought I finished it for some reason. Um, apparently not. But this is a little seating area. Over here is my dresser. We have like a little window seat because why not? That's just like cute to look out into the front yard. Wait, what? Why is that so like, it looks like a house. I mean, it is a house, but you know what I mean? This is my closet. Um, I have some designer stuff and obviously this still needs finished because I don't have enough money to buy all this designer stuff. Then this door next to the crib is my bathroom, which it is definitely a ton bigger than last time. That's it for the master bedroom. So now, okay, this bedroom is the guest bedroom, but it's not done, obviously. I say that every time because I just literally don't get time to doing that. Now the last two bedrooms left are Gibby and Kate's room. So Gibby's room, I told Bullbox to go for an underwater sea theme room. And oh my gosh, it turned out so, so good. This was the first room she did and I swear, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. But over here, he has a toy chest. And over here is an area where he could put his book bag. But over here is his dresser area, and I did have her put a guitar because he's really into that in real life. Obviously, his bed that she made out of basic shapes, which I think all of this is so cool looking, and I love the border she did of, like, the wave effect on the walls. The hanging chair, a little work art area, um, these little whale book things, and then, like, a stuffed animal, like, I don't know what it's actually called, but you've seen those before, like, with, like, squishmallows or whatever. This door right here leads to their bathroom. Um, Gibby and Kate share a bathroom. So this is Kate's side, obviously, all the pink stuff. And this is Gibby's side, obviously, with the more boy colors like blue, green, and orange. 
Now, the last room of the house is Kate's bedroom, and I swear this is my favorite bedroom ever. This is so adorable, so I told Bullbox to go for a very simplistic teen bedroom, um, luxury, kind of stuff like that, and oh my gosh, I wish I had this bedroom in real life. Like, it's so beautiful. Over here, Kate has a filming area, kind of office desk setup. Right here is her bed, and over here is her dresser. I just love how sleek everything looks. So over here is kind of her own area with the full length mirror, the egg chair, hanging plants. Now these double doors lead to Kate's bougie luxury closet. Like this closet is so luxury, I'm jealous. But in the middle, she has all her like designer perfumes and on the back, she has all her designer shoes. Oh my God, like look at those Gucci slides and bags. Like, oh my gosh, the Louis Vuitton. But like I said, this video cannot be complete without a layout tour because you guys need the layout tour. So we're going to go into build mode and I'm going to try to do a better job this time explaining where everything is because I guess I didn't do a good job last time. Like I said, I cannot do a speed build of this because this house is just way too big and the amount of times I've redone it and stuff like that, it just honestly wouldn't make any sense. But here's what it looks like from the front view and kind of how my whole front yard is kind of just laid out basically. Then this is kind of what the garage area looks like laid out. Um, this first like portion part, this is what it looks like laid out. And this is kind of the backyard layout. Yes, I know I forgot to change the like colors of the roof. And this is the garden area. But now I'm basically going to show you the layout of the first floor and the second floor. Oh, and I forgot I had a basement but this is kind of what it looks like underground i guess you could say nothing too special but if you wanted to make the basement go all the way out this is the first floor what it looks like and everything in the layout so here's the garage area i lit it up so you guys can kind of see um this is the foyer this is um where you go into the basement kitchen dining living play area and just extra stuff then if we go upstairs again this is where you would actually come up the stairs right here um hallway master bedroom eloise's room kate's room and gibby's bedroom and guest and that's pretty much it for my whole entire house okay so that's pretty much it for my whole entire full detail and full layout house tour again i'm very sorry i cannot give you guys a speed build but before we end this video i want to quickly take a chance to give credits to everyone that helped me out with my house credits of the layout go to glowing tay Credits to the backyard go to Jakey Builds. The kids' bedrooms go to Bull Blocks. The playroom and the kitchen and just some other basic rooms like the hallway go to Mixie. And some of my front yard, because I did change it up, but he mostly helped me go to Lewis Builds on Instagram. So please make sure to go check out all these fabulous builders because they really helped me put my house together. But that is pretty much it for today's house tour. I hope you guys love it. And yeah, that's it. Bye, Pixies.